The Poincaré sphere is a powerful tool that allows for a convenient description of polarized signals. In classical optics, any state of polarization can be uniquely represented by a point on a unit sphere centered on a rectangular Euclidean coordinate system. In quantum optics, fluctuations in the number of photons are unavoidable, so we are forced to talk of a three-dimensional Poincaré space. This space can be envisioned as foliated in a set of nested spheres with radii proportional to the corresponding photon numbers. The state is not located in a single sphere, but distributed over different shells like in an onion. As an example, we show a coherent state, which has equal uncertainties in all Stokes observables. However, with increasing intensity, the ratio between the spacing of the individual shells and the extension of the state is monotonically decreasing. In the limit of high signal intensities, the polarization state can be described as being embedded in a quasi-continuous space. For a bright polarization state, the quantum uncertainties are significantly smaller than the state's intensity. Thus, the curvature of the shells can be neglected and the state can be approximated to lie in a flat space. It is possible to reduce the uncertainty of one Stokes observable on the expense of an increased uncertainty in the conjugate observable. This results in a squeezed state. We experimentally generate such a bright polarization squeezed state and perform a full three-dimensional tomography by recording histograms of the projections of the state onto the measurement axis at different angles. It turns out that the reconstruction is equivalent to an inverse Radon transformation of the measured tomograms. Using the acquired tomograms, we reconstruct the squeezed polarization state not only by the well-established inverse Radon transformation, but also with a novel maximum likelihood technique. The significantly greater stability of the maximum likelihood technique allows us to get reconstructions of the same quality, but from far smaller datasets.